Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, Skyview System, performing a network configuration. In today's video, I'd like to demonstrate the process of performing a network configuration in your Skyview system. Now currently we're looking at a Skyview display in the aircraft I fly. This system has already been configured, it's been flying for some time. If you were installing a Skyview and just turning it on for the first time, instead of the flight instruments and map as you see here, you would just see a black screen with red X's. Uh, that's nothing to be alarmed about, it just means that you need to complete this process I'm about to show you. Now by network configuration, we mean that the Skyview display, which is the master device in the network, needs to determine what other network components are uh, currently online. And to do that, it uh, conducts a poll, and uh, we call that process performing a configuration. To start with, we need to enter the Skyview setup system. And to do that, we press and hold buttons 7 and 8. So I'm doing that now, pressing and holding buttons 7 and 8. I push them down and hold them and the system switches to this black screen and notice in the upper left hand corner it says we're looking at the setup menu. There's a number of options you'll go through in sequence as you're uh, configuring your Skyview system but we're currently interested in the second item on this list system setup. So I will click my knob down or rotate the knob to highlight that item system setup. Now the right hand screen changes and I have to press the knob joystick fashion to the right to choose the right hand menu. I'll do that now. So here we're looking at the system setup menu and notice the very first option says Skyview Network Setup. And the right hand screen has changed again. I'm going to select that right hand list by clicking the joystick to the right. Now we're looking at the network setup page and we have three options here. The first is status, the second option is configure, and the third option says force network load. That's a special process. Uh, you normally don't have to uh, use that, and I'm not going to cover that in this video. I'm going to focus here on the first two items in this network setup list. Now, first of all, network status. This option will let me see the current status of all the devices in my, our network. Again, if you were configuring your Skyview for the first time, there wouldn't be any items in this list. But since we're in an airplane that already has a configured Skyview, let's take a look and see what's there. So once again, I click the joystick to the right, and now we see a list of all the Skyview network components currently installed and configured. Notice my screen says there are 12 devices. This is an exceptionally well-equipped airplane. Uh, as you scroll down the list, either by clicking the joystick or rotating the knob, you'll see a list of all those active components. And notice for each component, it gives the type of component, its serial number, the version of the software installed, and its status. All of the components in this airplane say status ready. But again, you won't see this list the very first time. You must perform the configuration first. So I'm going to step back to that last menu by pressing button 1 back. And let's select configure. I highlight the configure option and click the knob to the right. Now you see a dialog screen that gives you some basic information of what about what will happen in this process. I'll leave it for you to read that on your own display. But notice button 8 now is labeled detect. That will launch this network configuration process and I'll do that now. The system is detecting all the Skyview components. It's asking us to wait. As soon as it finishes that process it takes us to the network status page that we saw just a moment ago. And again, it tells me all 12 devices are successfully detected. In your system, you'll, you, you may well have less than 12 devices, but it's important that all the items you know are installed are uh, revealed on this list. If you find that something's missing, uh, the engine module, for example, or one of the servos, you need to go back and check your wiring or check your switches or fuses to make sure that those devices are powered on and accessible to the network. So that's a quick summary of the network configuration process. If you need more assistance, please refer to the Skyview System Installation Manual or call our tech support staff. They're eager to, eager to help you out. And uh, thanks for watching. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview System, 
please see our website at dynonavionics.com where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.